about all the things ponies talk about. About you. Are they really true? Is this really the right thing to do? Are you trying to back out now? After all these years, you're giving up. I guess so. If she wants to be with the big Discord, then that's fine with me. And if she's okay, then I'm okay. Trying to be the hero now. How noble, but as your father, I forbid you to disobey me. Give me the information now! What has gotten into you? Is everything alright? The people are expecting a marriage. We can't just leave them feeling unsure of the future like this. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but unless you can find an eligible pony soon, I- I'm in love with someone else. The people were becoming weak. And something had to be done. What did you do? We decided to command the Council of Unicorns to extract the magic of the forest so we could use it to grow more crops and feed our people. We had to keep our kingdom alive. But... Something went terribly wrong. Moonstone! Moonstone! Fluttershy, are you all right? Y yes I, I think so. That's good. They came out of nowhere. I thought the creatures of the forest left. I thought so too, but apparently not all of them. Thank you for saving me. You're very welcome. Should we head over to your place now? I've got so much I want to talk to you about. You, you shouldn't come here anymore. Wait, what are you talking about? With these creatures. It's too dangerous here. You must leave. But if I go and never come back, then I'll never see you again. Oh, I know, but I can't risk you getting hurt. I've been so careless. No, no, I won't. I won't leave you here all alone again. I don't want to. I want to keep seeing you. Fluttershy, please. No. I can't and I won't. You have to! I already said no! Fluttershy, I won't ask you again. Just go! Oh, I'm sorry. I just... I, I don't want you to be in danger. But I'm not in danger. You're here. That's the problem. I can easily protect you from Timberwolves or what have you, but I I'm dangerous, Fluttershy. All those Timberwolves feared me. All those ponies from my past were terrified of me. What? What if I hurt you? I know that you won't. I've gotten to know how gentle and kind you are. You aren't a monster or a beast. You're wonderful. Fluttershy. You deserve so much more than to be left here alone. You deserve to feel loved and appreciated. 
not feared. You really believe that, don't you? I don't know what it is you see in me, or, or why you think I deserve this kindness, but I, I have to admit, I don't want to be alone again. I won't let you be alone again. I'll make sure of it. How can you? I can't keep having you make the trek out here. It really is dangerous, and eventually you would get caught. I know. You're magic. What about it? Can you transform into anything you want? Pretty much. Can you turn into a pony? A pony? Well, of course! And I'd look rather dashing as one if I do say so myself. Wait, no! I know what you're planning, and we certainly can't do that! Well, why not? You want me to turn into a pony and go with you into town, right? I can't do that! My magic requires focus! If I lose my focus or even lose control of my emotions, I'll change back! Well, why don't we practice then? Practice? How on earth could we practice for something like that? We'll work on having you maintain your composure during different kinds of situations. That way you'll be prepared for whatever happens in town. Uh, I don't know. Even if I can control my power, I haven't been out of this forest in... I don't even know how long. I'll act strangely around every pony. It'll be okay. I'll be right by your side the entire time. Oh, uh, all right. I suppose it's worth a shot. Fluttershy, I'm here, just like I said I would be. I'll save you from the... Fluttershy? Oh, no. What if she was hurt or... Or taken away, or- You fool. We have control of the wolves, remember? They wouldn't have hurt her either way. Something else has clearly happened here. I knew this plan was a mistake. I wasn't quick enough. Where did she go? It looks like someone else beat us here. That beast. If we want to make Fluttershy yours, we'll need to get him out of the equation. He's ruining everything. He protected her. A job that was supposed to be yours! Seems the beast is more capable than I foresaw. Now she'll only have more trust in him because he just saved her. Oh, I knew this wouldn't work. Your plan has failed. I refuse to go through these brainless schemes that put her in danger any longer. I'm done. I don't deserve to be with her and she's happy with him. Your will is another thing I'll need to get out of this equation. This is the last time that you question me, my son. Now, the real plans can begin. Alright, how about you show me your pony form? Uh, on second thought, maybe I should just stay here. Please, Discord, I want to make this work! Ugh, fine. Wow! I is something wrong? Do I look weird? You're taller than me. What? what? Is, is that bad? I... Uh, hold on! I, I was already taller than you in my true form! Why is this a problem now? What kind of... That was the first test. Overcoming confusion. <laughs> Looks like you really do need some practice. So then, I didn't look weird? Not at all. You looked nice. It's a good thing I wasn't transformed again. That would have made me turn back for sure. I'll be more on my toes for these next tests. You silly goose. Ponies don't have toes. <laughs> Neither do silly geese. <laughs> 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 You did better on that one. You were able to stay transformed while laughing. I, I was. Maybe this really can work. I think so too. You've improved a lot. I think you're ready to head to town. Was that on purpose? Why did you turn back when I hugged you? Oh no! Why did that happen? Did I really get that flustered over a simple hug? 
I suppose you probably haven't been hugged much, have you? Hmm. I guess we'll have to do some hug training. <laughs> I, I am sure nobody's going to be hugging me out of nowhere, right? I think we're prepared enough. There, there's no need for any of that. I suppose you're right. I think that's all then. Uh, are you sure about this? Yes. This is the perfect opportunity. You can do it! I sure hope so. Now come on, let's go to the castle! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you say castle? Yes, that's where I live after all. You live at a castle? Oh dear, I never told you, did I? Tell me what! I'm, uh, actually the Princess of Suntrust. <laughs> The, the princess? How could you never have told me? Sorry, I guess it's a subject I ignore. Also, you changed back. That one was on purpose. Fluttershy, it's one thing to walk around town as a pony, but the castle? I if I lose my control or my powers there, I- It's okay. Like I said, if you start to lose control, I'll be there right by your side to set you straight. Oh. Fine, all right. <sighs> Still, though, I can't believe you're the princess. Yes, it's quite shocking, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not very princess-like, am I? Personally, I think you embody everything a princess should. You really mean that? I really do. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, come on, let's go! Wait, now?! Well, yes. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm having second thoughts. Um. Goodness, at this point, it's more like you're having third or fourth thoughts. It'll be okay. Although, now that you mention it, now might not be a good time since it's the middle of the night. How about I meet you at the edge of the forest tomorrow evening? Oh, and make sure you're in your pony form. If you truly think that it'll be all right, then I trust you. Sounds like a plan. Although, before you go, I don't think you should go back to the castle in that dress. What do you mean? Oh. Here, let me fix you up. Oh my! Discord, it's beautiful! Thank you! You're welcome. You look lovely. I can't believe your magic is capable of such things. Oh, you should see what I could do if I had all my magic. I could probably take over the world if I wanted to. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, though, of course. <laughs> now, let me escort you back. So you didn't get a chance to talk to him about your mother, huh? No. Lots of things happened yesterday. Lots of crazy things. I see. Do you think it's okay that I want to forgive him? I don't believe that he would ever do something like that willingly. I know him now, and I could never see him acting like that. Of course I do! I think your mom would think so too. I think there's still more to this than we know. I think it's fine to forgive him. I just can't help but see the good in him. He's not the beast everyone sees him as. I trust you, Fluttershy. You've always been good at reading people. Of course, I still think you should talk to him more about it when you get the chance. It would be a terrible thing if you never talked about it and kept it hidden. Deep down, even later, when you're happily married and have kids and- Snow Lily! <laughs> Come on, it's so obvious you have more than just a little crush on this guy. You're at the take him home to meet your family level of in love. Funny story, I am taking him home to meet my family, but not like that! He's coming here? Like, here, here? But he'll be disguised as a pony, so don't tell anyone. You're the only pony that knows. Got it, no telling. You can count on me. But, why is he coming here? Is he as cute as a pony? I'm gonna ignore that last question. We know reasonably that we can't keep this up forever. I can't just make excuses constantly and hide these trips from everyone. He initially tried to have me never come back since it was dangerous, but I refused. 
What? You know, I think he loves you. What? Come on, Flutters. He wants to protect you. Cares more about your safety and happiness than his own well-being. And he's willing to try some complicated scheme just to get near you. Sounds like love to me. Maybe. I asked you for advice, you know, not to tease me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. You're just so cute. Thank you for supporting me all this time. Your trust means so much to me, Snow. Of course. I know you're more capable than folks think you are. Now, go get ready to see your boyfriend again. Oh, it's you, Moonstone. So I'm guessing you're going to see Discord again soon? Sort of, but if you're here to lecture me, then... No, no. I'm not here to do that. I was just wondering, did anything happen in the forest last night? No, nothing in particular. Really, now? That's right. You know, I don't like it when you lie to me, Fluttershy. How did you- I came to save you after you used a hair clip. But of course, Discord had to do it. Why do you say it like that? Are you upset that he made sure I didn't get hurt? And that dress! What about it? It's unsightly. Beautiful girl like you shouldn't be seen in rags like those. Ugh. How could you say such a thing? I'm guessing Discord made it. With his magic or whatever. Yes, he did. And it's beautiful. Why are you acting like this, Moonstone? What's gotten into you? What's gone into me? You ask me such a question. When you've gone and fallen in love with a monster... Goodness flutters. You're delusional. Don't call me flutters right now. Oh, and I thought you liked it when I called you that. Why the sudden change of heart? You know, Flutters, you really shouldn't treat your fiancé this way. I'm hurt. We aren't getting married anymore, Moonstone. You know that. What? You want to marry Discord now? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, that's rich. That is really, really rich. What? Are you going to dress him up in a little suit and tie? Walk that creature down the aisle? No, 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 I... I... You'll have a change of heart. I know it. Though, I suppose it doesn't really matter whether you do or not. What's that supposed to mean? No matter how many times you see that monstrous thing, you'll never get out of this marriage. My father has already agreed that there will be no marriage between us. Don't you get that? What on earth is wrong with you? This isn't like you at all! Snow Lily was right. You're acting so strange these days. So, being concerned for my future wife means I'm acting strange? <laughs> That's rich, Flutters. You really do come up with the most silliest things. I'm hurt! With how you're treating me, you'd think I was the beast of the forest. You act like I'm some sort of villain for simply wanting to keep my weak little flutter safe from harm. I am not weak. Not anymore. I won't be spoken to like this. Especially not from you. Get out. You'll come to your senses eventually. But for now, I'll be the villain of the story as much as I need. If it means keeping you away from that cretin. Come along for the ride, Moonstone. Now you'll get to see me do things my way. Discord? Oh, there you are. Now I'm really having second thoughts about this. I mean, I don't even know how to talk to other ponies, let alone royalty. Well, I'm royalty, and you talk to me just fine. It'll be okay. Remember, I'll be right by your side the entire time. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Don't be silly. You look great. Got everything you need? You'll be staying at the castle for a while, I'm sure. 
I don't really have any luggage to bring, so I'm just bringing myself. All right, then. Let's go. You seem upset. Is everything all right? Or are you nervous? Oh, um, a tiny bit, I suppose. But... I'm just a little sad over something else. Why? What's wrong? My friend Moonstone. He's been different lately. Different how? Like, there's been a total shift in his personality. Ever since I've been seeing you, he's been so strange. Did he ever act like that before? No. Not at all. He was always one of the sweetest, kindest, and generous ponies I knew. But now he wants to force me to marry him. Even my father has dropped the idea. But Moonstone keeps insisting. And he keeps insulting you, calling you a monster, and... It's just awful. I just... I just don't know what's happening to him. <laughs> oh, jeez. How do I deal with this? Um, uh, uh, th there, there, um... Uh... <laughs> what, what, what what did I do? Nothing, really. You just cheered me up a bit. I did? Yes. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. It's just really scary seeing someone you know change so completely. I miss my old friend. And I'm not really happy with this aggressive version of him I've been getting to know. Maybe it's magic? I don't think so. I don't think there's powerful enough magic around here to do that. At least not that I know of. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it'll resolve itself soon. I can't imagine anyone being able to be mean to you. Right, yes, yes. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll, I'll be right there. Remember, don't lose focus. Right. Uh, do you think the ponies are getting suspicious of me? Oh, no, not at all. I'm sure they're just interested in a new pony in town. That's all. Besides, you're walking next to the princess, after all. <laughs> If you say so. Hi, Fluttershy! Hi! Who's your friend? Oh, this is, um, Dis... Uh... Disarray Blaze. It's nice to meet you! I'm Princess Pinkamina Diane Pie, but you can just call me Pinkie Pie. Or Pinky, Or... Pie? Just don't call me late for dinner! <laughs> and don't call me Diane. And I'm Snow Lily. We're Fluttershy's best friends. Well, it, it, it's um, nice to meet you both. What are you girls doing out? Well, I wanted to cheer Pinkie Pie up a bit and just take a walk. I'm also buying some herbal supplies while doing so. That sounds fun. I'm glad you're feeling better, Pinkie. I am. Thanks, Fluttershy. See you later. Bye! It's nice to know that you have such nice friends. I'm really lucky to have them. You know, you just keep on changing. What do you mean? Well, like I said before, you're less grumpy. It just seems more so now. What? No, I haven't changed that much. <laughs> Don't try to hide it. You have a soft side. Well, whatever. Just don't try to hide it. <laughs> Only around you. Oh, look! It's the castle! We're here! There you are, Fluttershy. It's getting late, you know. I was getting worried. Sorry, Twilight. I was just escorting my friend over here. Friend? Yes. Meet Disarray Blaze. Disarray Blaze, huh? Well, it's nice to meet you, Disarray. Likewise. <laughs> How come you haven't introduced him to me before, Fluttershy? He's been pretty busy lately. But since he has some time cleared up, 
I asked him to come visit and stay with us. Oh, we should have a dinner tonight in Disarray's honor. I think that sounds lovely. What do you think, Disarray? I think that sounds nice. Right? Let's go inside. It's getting cold. You're doing great. Are you sure this pony is safe? When did you meet him anyways? I've certainly never seen him around. Of course! We met when he was out on a walk in the city park one night. After that, we kept meeting up more often. So I wanted to introduce him to all of you. Well, at least that's not a total lie. He's got a very interesting name, don't you think? Maybe. It's almost like his name was come up with on the spot. <laughs> Ooh, do we have a guest? Yes, your majesty. This is Disarray Blaze, and he'll be staying with us for a while as a guest of Fluttershy. Well, pleased to meet you. It'll be nice having somebody new around here. Uh, yes, thank you for letting me stay. It's no trouble at all. I was thinking we could have dinner tonight in Disarray's honor. That sounds wonderful. I'll be sure to tell the chefs. Uh, please, make yourself at home. No! No! It couldn't be! Well, Disarray, like the king said, make yourself at home. I need to prepare for tonight's dinner. You did so well, Discord! Nice manners and everything! Is everything okay? Who is that mare in the picture there? Oh, that's my mother. Your mother? Yes, I... I think I told you about her before. She passed away, right? Yes. When I was just a baby. Uh, I... I see. Discord your wings! Is everything alright? You look a little sick. Oh, um, yes, I'm quite alright. I, I, I think it's just all this talking with our other ponies that's making me a bit nervous, is all. Don't worry. All the ponies here are very friendly. Oh, I know. How about I show you around the castle? Maybe that'll make you less nervous. S sounds like a good idea. And this is my room. I see. You kept this? Of course I did. It's very special to me. And you did say it can last forever thanks to your magic. How could I not keep it? I... Uh, I didn't expect it to mean so much to you. Uh, you, um... You must miss your mother very much. I didn't get to know her. I was only a baby when she died. I've heard so many stories of what she's like. Not a day goes by that I don't wish she was still here. I'm sorry. Thank you. My father always tells me I'm a lot like her. She must have been a wonderful pony then. Uh, how about I show you to your room? Is this room okay? Yes, it's it's more than okay. It's spectacular compared to my small hut. Oh, what is this even made of? It's so soft and fluffy. <laughs> I'm glad it's to your liking. Why are you doing all this for me? Doing what? Well, you know, letting me get out of the forest, live at the castle, trying to convince every pony that I'm not that bad. Because you're not bad. And I want ponies to see that. And because you're my dear friend, you don't deserve to be in that forest all alone every day and night. Thank you for saying so. I just... I don't feel like I deserve this. You still think you're bad? Yes. Well, I'll convince you that you're not. I'll let you settle in. You can come down to dinner whenever you're ready. 
All right. Did I really... Did I really kill her mother? So, I hear your name is Desari Blaze? Yes, that's correct. It's quite the unusual name. Father! Uh, oh, my apologies. I, I only mean it in a good way, of course. <laughs> right. You know, you're here just in time for the Spring Gala tomorrow night. Oh, you're right! I totally forgot about it. Spring Gala? You could be our guest of honor. Oh, well, I'd be delighted. Thank you. I can't seem to stop thinking about how I'm responsible for Fluttershy's mother. What do I do? <clears throat> huh? Oh! Please, take as much food as you'd like. We made enough to feed the beast. Father! Well, it's true. Your Highness, I suggest you refrain from speaking of the beast. Oh, yes. I I'm sorry. The beast can't be all bad, can he? <gasps> oh, the beast is truly a monstrous being. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we don't even know him and... Fluttershy, uh, don't you remember what he did? Well, yes, but... Fluttershy, I know you're kind-hearted, but the beast is no joke. I was there that day. Yes, I know. Well, I grew Fluttershy! Oh, Pinky, not you too. Uh, the beast has no excuses. There isn't an ounce of kindness in that creature's heart. None. I think something has upset my stomach. I actually like to retire early. Disarray, would you accompany me? Yes, I, I, I think I'll be going as well. Dinner, dinner was truly lovely. Oh, leaving so soon? Whatever for? Well, all right. If you're sure. Good night, you two. Good night, dear. Discord? Don't worry about what they said. I know that- I know, I know you think I'm good. It's just- Look, I don't truly know what happened in your past, but I know you, and I believe that- Fluttershy, I, I appreciate you trying to cheer me up, but let's face it, I've done something terrible that, that can't be undone. Discord- When those ponies were talking about me, it's just- it really hit me. It's different when I say I'm bad, but when other ponies say it, how can it not be true? If these kind of ponies think I'm a monster, how could I not be? You may have done bad things in the past, but that doesn't mean you're bad yourself. I know that you can be kind and good, and I have proof. This is proof that you're not bad. It's proof that you're kind and gentle. It's proof that you're my friend. Thank you, Fluttershy. But I believe it's time for me to tell you the truth. I'm sure you've been wondering about it. Well, I can't say I haven't. <sighs> the truth is, Fluttershy, I, um... Wait. If this is about my mother... I know. You don't have to say it. You do? You... killed her, didn't you? I've shed my tears Every heart Every heart is not a gentle one Why can't I? I can never share my loneliness Every heart Doesn't know what to say or what to do Was afraid of darkness 